Children, what did you study yesterday? We studied verbs, Grandpa. If so, you should know what a verb is. Yes, Grandpa. A verb is a doing word which usually expresses an action. Example, the dog barks at the boy. Here, the word barks is a verb. A verb may also express a state. Example, this dog is a dashand. Here, is is a verb which expresses a state. Okay, Vinod, can you tell us about finite? non-finite and infinitive verbs? A finite verb is limited by its subject. It agrees with its subject in number and persons. If you look at the following examples, you can see the underlined verbs change according to subject. I am tired. You are a good boy. It is a dog. They are cute children. Here, I is the first person singular. You is either a second person singular or plural. It is a third person singular and they is a third person plural. The verb forms which have no subject are non-finites. Example, he likes singing. Here, the non-finite verb is singing. The infinitive is the base of a verb. It is used either with or without to. The to infinitive is often used after verbs. Example, the man is ready to eat. The infinitive without to is used after special verbs like will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might, and must. Example, he must do well in exams. What are transitive and intransitive verbs? A transitive verb is the one that takes an object. Example, the cat has caught a mouse. Here, the action of catching passes on to the object mouse. The verbs which do not have objects are called intransitive verbs. Example, the child smiles. Here, the action of smiling does not pass on to anything. Grandpa, I will tell about present participles and past participles. Carry on, my boy. The ing form of a verb, which is used as an adjective, is called present participle. Example, he jumped from the moving train. Here, the ing arm of the verb moving is used as an adjective. The third form of the verb, which is used as an adjective, is called past participle. Example, the broken window was repaired. In this sentence, the third form of the verb broken is used as an adjective. A verb must agree with its subject in number and person. That is, the form of a verb depends on whether the subject is in singular, plural, first person, second person or third person. Look at the following sentences as examples. I play cricket daily. He plays cricket daily. They play cricket daily. You can notice how the verb changes according to subject in number and person. Grandpa, what are modal verbs? Modal verbs express the mood of the speaker. They express probability, possibility, obligation, wish and expectation of the speaker. The following examples will show how modal verbs express the mood of the speaker. This cat can catch the bird. Here the word can is used to express ability. He could swim well when he was young. Here the modal verb could is used to express past ability. 
he may come tomorrow may i use your mobile in the first sentence the modal verb may is used to talk about the possibility and in the second sentence the modal verb may is used to ask for permission look at the sentence you should study hard to score good marks here should is used to express necessity in this sentence he must be 70 now the modal verb must is used to express strong probability tell me what is a gerund sorry grandpa we have no idea no problem i will tell you the ing form of a verb which does the work of a noun is called gerund it may become the subject or object of the verb examples fishing is not allowed here here the ing form of the verb is the subject ducks like swimming here the ing form of a verb has become an object 